talking about injustice. So many Christians are concerned with injustice. That's not right. That's unjust. That I, I, can't, I can't abide by this. That's not talking about that. It's talking about hungering and thirsting to live right and to be right with God. Righteousness, the righteousness that is in Christ, hungering and thirsting for Him in my life. That is what it's talking about. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst. I mean, have you ever been hungry? I mean, really hungry. I mean, I get hungry three times a day, four or five times a day. I mean, I, I really do. I eat a lot. I'm a grazer. You know what a grazer is? They just keep eating all the time. You see me, you're going to find I got cookies in my pocket. Well, not so much anymore. I have a good wife. She keeps on smacking me. But I, have, I would have stuff all the time. A piece of apple, a piece of cheese, a piece of this. I walk in the house, I got to eat something. I'm a grazer. That's not being hungry. I'm talking about being hungry. Fast for two days. Boy, you'll be hungry. How about thirsty? Have you been thirsty? I know you've been thirsty, but it's not for taste. It's not for a, oh, I want a cup of coffee. Oh, I, I really want this. No, I'm talking about thirst, dying of thirst. I mean, really. And Jesus is saying, you've got to get in the spiritual condition where you are starving for me, where you are dying of thirst for me, because if you don't have that, you've got nothing. You've got to remember how bankrupt you are. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. No explanation needed. Pure in heart. No guile. No trickery. No deceitfulness. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers. That's the ones who are able to come in a situation and not take sides, but bring peace. Resolutions. They're not the children of God. It's the children of God who are arguing. It's the children of God who are coming against each other. But the sons of God come in and bring the peace of God. That's maturity. Blessed are the sons of God, the peacemakers. They shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Blessed are, and the word righteousness again, right living. Blessed are those who are persecuted because they're living right. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. They have the kingdom of heaven also. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you, talk bad about you, and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil things against you falsely on my account because of me. Because if you're living right and you have righteousness, you've got Christ in you. And if Christ is in you, the world thinks you stink. But God thinks it's a different savior. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You see, if you're receiving persecution, not because you're obnoxious. There are Christians who are obnoxious. They're forcing their faith. They're forcing their beliefs. They're trying to get people saved, get notches on their belts. Well, I got another one saved. Are you really sure they got saved? Or did they just say, I'll say that prayer to shut you up? It doesn't say blessed are the obnoxious. No. Blessed are you when you're persecuted for righteousness sake. Because you're living right. Because they did it to the prophets also. You're in good company when you're living right and you're persecuted. 